Hey, it's Monashi from Monashi.org, where it's all about portfolio creation, production, and marketing for photographers. Today, I have a tutorial on how you can merge Lightroom catalogs together to make one master Lightroom catalog. When Lightroom first came out, I organized my catalogs based on shoots. So I'd have a catalog for every shoot, which made a lot of sense at the time because it seemed like you wanted to have just the shots from that particular shoot in a collection. Well, it becomes very complicated when you want to access things from different folders. So you have to close down your, your catalog and restart. So this is a really simple way to merge together all of those catalogs that you've created separately into one master catalog so that you can access all of your images in one place. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video because I have a very valuable tool that's going to help you immensely. I'm going to open up Lightroom right now because we're going to get right into it. I have created a, um, a master catalog. It's empty right now. So this is the folder that it's in. This is the master catalog. And then this is the previews. So those are both important files for you to have. I'm going to use this catalog as an example. It's a shoot that I did a while ago. I want to merge this catalog into my master catalog and it is currently on an external hard drive and my master catalog is currently on my desktop. I'm going to open it up and here is the, the catalog. Here's what's inside. What I'm going to show you in here is that I've made a lot of adjustments um, to the images within Lightroom. I have all of my ratings for my images. I have virtual copies. So this right here um, with the little uh, tag, that means that it's a virtual copy um, of the original file. So all of these things I've done a lot of work on. Um, you could even, if you do your own key, if you do keywording within Lightroom, all of that stuff is stored within this catalog for the specific shoot. Now I'm going to show you how we can get it all over to the master catalog. So I've opened up my master catalog, which is empty at the moment because um, I just created it for the purposes of this tutorial. What would happen if I imported those raw, the raw files is that I wouldn't have any of the information that I showed you within the catalog that I've already created. So all of the work that I've done on those images within Lightroom wouldn't be there. When you import a catalog, it imports all of the information that you've already created within the other catalog. So what I'm going to do is go up to File, Import from another catalog. We're going to locate the catalog. We're going to choose that catalog. It's going to prepare to import. when you import them. Do you want to keep them in the location that they're in right now, or do you want to move them to a new location? Uh, for me, I like to keep my, my files in the same place, but if you wanted to move them to a new location, then you could do that here by selecting copy new photo photos to a new location and import, and then it will ask you where you want to copy the folders to. I am going to add new photos to the catalog without moving them because I want them to stay on my external hard drive. I don't want them taking up space on my on my computer. So they're going to stay in that location. Um, however, say you did want them on your computer, then you could do that here. So we're going to import everything here. So it's importing the catalog. Okay, so there are the images that have transferred over from the other catalog. If you see here, here are all of the same folders that I had on my other catalog. Um, all of the, see there's the virtual copy that we saw in that space. So it transferred over the virtual copy. It transferred over all of my um, retouching and changes that I've made to the images. Um, and it's kept the raw files in the same folder on the external hard drive. I just want to show you a few more things um, to keep in mind. I'm just going to get out of here. So here we are back where the original catalog is. The raw files are all still here. 
and the Lightroom catalog is still here. And the original Lightroom catalog is not going to go away until I delete it. And I highly recommend that you don't delete this until you have a backup done of your master catalog um, because you, if anything changes, anything happens, you want to make sure that you've got that backed up before you remove any of this because then you'll lose all your data. Okay, I'm going to hop back into the master catalog and we're going to back this up. We're going to set the backup in catalog settings. It asks you when you want to back up the catalog once a week when, exi when exiting Lightroom. I am going to change that to every time Lightroom exits because I want to basically, this is my master catalog now, so I am going to really want to make sure this backs up every single time. Um, and then um, I also would suggest that you keep your backup in a different location. So I have this now on my desktop, the master catalog. So I'm going to put my backup on my external hard drive. Um, I mean, ideally, I'm also going to have a, a, backup, a backup of my master catalog that's off-site um, so that if anything happens to my computer and my hard drive, then I have a backup somewhere else because this is all valuable information um, because I put a lot of work into it already. And once I import all of my catalogs, I want to make sure that all of the imagery that I've worked on is, um, has a very solid backup. So now when I close my catalog, this only backs up the catalog file, not your photos. Um, so it's asking me every time Lightroom exits, I'm confirming that, I'm confirming where I want it to go. I have officially made a master catalog from my other catalog. So now what I would do is go in and add my next catalog. Once I've got all my backups done, I can go and delete the, the original catalogs. Um, unless you want to keep them for whatever reason, but you really want to make sure that you're working on things in the master now, because um, otherwise any changes that you do are not going to transfer over to your previous catalog. Now you know how to combine your catalogs together into one master catalog. Now if you are building a portfolio or website and you want to get my exact step-by-step -step process that I take when I'm building a portfolio, you can go ahead and download my free Power Portfolio Checklist and follow along with that. For even more resources and free tools, please head on over to monashi.org because I have a ton of information there that is going to help you along in your commercial photography journey. If you like this video, please show your support by giving me a thumbs up, commenting below, sharing with your friends, and of course subscribing so that you can get more information on commercial photography production and marketing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. I just banged out two videos in a very short period of time. My kids will be home from preschool soon. That only took me, what, like five minutes. Oh, actually, I'm not finished with the videos because I still have to go and do the tutorial part. Okay, I'm not quite done. That's why this was so fast because it was just an intro. <laughs>